by Syracuse head coach Gary Gay, Christian Dulé, and Jackson Burt Whistle. Get okay, a quick statement from coach, and I'm going to ask the question. Another top 10 matchup. Unfortunately, uh, didn't get it done. It was an uh, incredible game. We gave ourselves the opportunity again. Um, but throughout the game, I thought there was just a few too many mistakes. Um, but again, a valuable game for us to continue to develop as a young team. I think, you know, that's a, a playoff team that, you know, was a goal away from going to the Final Four last year. And uh, they played with confidence, but, you know, they were right where we were at the end of the game. So I think that's a positive thing for us, that we can make some mistakes and still be there with a proven, you know, top five team. So we're close. The great thing is we, we have a lot of games left against top 10 opponents. So, you know, we'll get one and hopefully two and three. And, you know, we can look back one day, hopefully, at these, these first two overtime losses as important games for us for how we finish the season. But that means we got to stick together as a team. We got to continue to stay positive. And we have to get better and learn from our mistakes. I think we're very capable of it. I believe in these guys. I've asked these guys to you know, stay positive, believe in each other, and, and we're, we're close. And we'll get there. So um, we don't have a lot of time to, to dwell on this one as we have to move forward and get ready for the next one. Gary, of the mistakes and opportunities lost, uh, where would you put the man up being one for five? But I, I guess on the list. Yeah, I think the man up um, just there wasn't a sense of urgency um, in, in executing, you know, the plays. I think we're very capable, and I think when we review the film with the players, they'll see it, and I think it'll it, it could be the spark that turns it around this year. You know, it needs to be. There needs to be more of a sense of urgency. Players need to be more of a threat when they catch the ball and make the defense stretch more. So I think, you know, they got to, like, be worried about a shooter. Right now, they're just staying in tight and able to cover the inside quite a bit because we're not being threats by shifting and moving um, into the gaps. So I know Coach March... Uh, prides himself in, in the extra man, and he will make it better. I, I guarantee it. Uh, for either of you guys, uh, how do you guys manage the emotions of the game where there are so many runs, and sometimes the offense seems like it's clicking on all cylinders, and other times it seems like you can't get anything to go? I would just say staying positive. I think that's the only thing you can do at times like that. Um, at this level, it goes back and forth, obviously. Um, you know, I think every top game that we've had, it's, it's gone back and forth. So just staying positive, trying to get the next play. That's all you can do. Christian, were you expecting to have a short stick on you throughout the game? You know, when's the last time that you've been going up against a shorty? And just that take me through your process dodge. Yeah, <clears throat> we spoke about it a little bit in practice. We had an idea that they were going to throw a short stick down because um, they did it in the past couple of games. And we are super athletic middies. So they tried to put a short stick down low on me. And I think that it kind of helped me to get a little bit more involved today where I was able to dodge, set picks, work a little bit more off ball because when you have a short stick, it's easier to catch it inside and, and kind of finish. So we are prepared for it. Um, and I thought we did a good job with it. Um, coach, what was kind of the plan um, for Joey coming into today? Was he supposed to be more involved? Or um, what did you kind of see from him today in terms of um, you know, um, it, it was a tough game, um, and I think he'd like to have a, a do-over on it. You know, I think um, he's a, he's there's just so much pressure on him right now, and it makes it so difficult when a young player like that has that incredible pressure. Um, 
So we need to help them identify the keys to success. And we're going to work on that and, you know, get him maybe, you know, in games like this, get him involved more off ball, you know, cutting, moving, um, that type of thing. But um, he's a great player, incredible player, and he's going to figure it out in these tough games. I know he is. I believe in him. Coach, what did Army do to kind of attack the short stick matchups today and kind of create those mismatches? Attack, it was an understatement. <laughs> they were, you know, they're very athletic, and we knew that. And we watched them run, run through our guys, over our guys, you know, and when they were playing defense or tackling our guys, it, you know, they, they're a very physical team, um, you know, with, with the ball or without it. And they, they put a ton of pressure on our short sticks, and um, we just made, you know, one too many mistakes on backing up the short sticks, and you know, we started getting out of our our slide pattern a little bit and getting that second slide where we need it, and they got you know two three easy goals in the middle when you know when we're organized and we're communicating better, we have that person there. And uh, unfortunately, there were just two or three times we didn't get that second slide into the middle, and it was wide open inside. On the last goal, it seemed like you guys were trying to double at some point. Was that the plan? It looked a little too late. And by the time you, didn't... you know, that was just a, this is, you know, the, the game-winning goal, again, wasn't a, a, it wasn't like we, it was dunk on the crease. It was a great shot. Um, you know, dodged our guy, got, got, got the hands free and, and buried it. So, you know, it's, they made a play. And, and that happens. You know, sometimes players step up and make a huge play and, and win games like that. And um, the plan was to make a save, get a stop, get it down the other end and score. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Coach, uh, last two games against ranked opponents, Joey has struggled against their top long goal. I know you said you're not worried, but what do you think it says about him and about more of the opponent's thematics or strategy there, or what do you think it, it says about Joey's acquiring? Uh, it, it just it means that, you know, we need to help him a little bit more, you know, and put him in positions and doing things that he'll get some more opportunities and uh, have some success. And we can do that. Like I said, we're going to help him. He's going to get better. I believe in him. I trust him. And it, it's going to happen for him. Yeah, I, he, got, I got something on that. You know, Coach alluded to it, but Joey's a sophomore and he's getting the best defenseman on him every game, right? And they're trying to take him out of the game and he's not going to have 10 points every single time he plays. It happens, right? But when they're on him, it opens up the rest of the offense and I think you guys need to realize that and people around need to realize that. People are just way too hard on him. Yeah, he's willing to do what's best for the team, you know? And, uh, and that just shows he is a team player. It's all about the team success. Um, but like I said, we can do a better job helping them and supporting them. Christian, can you just take me through that play at midfield, turnover, the goalies out of the net, and just kind of when you decided to shoot it and just kind of what your review of that is? Yeah, not much to it. I mean, <laughs> was trying to, to ride it. Got the ball back. I saw an empty net, and I shot it wide. Jackson, you had like eight shots today. You had nine all year coming into this game. Do you feel like you're starting to kind of get back into your groove and start to get some more, more momentum? Um, yeah, personally, I would say so. But you know, at the end of the day, we didn't get the win. That's not what we want to do. So I mean, yeah, it feels nice to be back and kind of in the groove, I guess you said. But I mean, we want to win the games, so it's tough. Gary, you mentioned the short turnaround. Do you kind of seep in the film on this one? Do you get through the film quickly? Do you flush this one? Like, what's your immediate thought about moving on from a game like this? Well, that's something we'll talk about as a staff uh, tonight, probably t tonight, tomorrow morning, to figure out, you know, is, is it more valuable to kind of review this right now, uh, or is it more valuable to prepare for high point? So. That's the discussion we'll have. Maybe we'll pick one or two things is usually what we do to focus on that, that we learn from this team that we can make adjustments with. Um, 
and incorporate that into preparing for High Point. What did Sam do so well today to score three goals? I mean, to get from just five coming into this game, what was he doing so well? Uh, you know, he was he was dodging hard. You know, he was going to the goal, and I think uh, that provided opportunities. You know, I, I think he would love to have a couple of those shots back. And you know, every great shooter, every great goal scorer, you know, when they miss a shot or get saved on, they would love to have that opportunity again because they know what they would do different. So um, he he came out ready to play today, and then, you know, got the first couple goals of the game. Um, got us going, and he was uh, he was ready. He played everywhere today. Played defense, played on wings, and then uh, you know three goals on offense. It was a tremendous effort by him today. Thanks, everybody.